Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to DigiTrib. Today, Michael and I, or tonight rather, Michael and I are going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Rogue One trailer that actually just came out tonight. Uh, this will be mm. our first impressions on it and such. Uh, I don't normally like reaction videos, which is one of the reasons why I didn't set up my webcam. Maybe I'll do one eventually, but reaction videos always seem kind of cheap. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to just watch the trailer, and maybe we'll talk about it for a few minutes first, and, you know, and then see what we all think, and then, and there. Should be a nice, short, quick little video. So, you ready, Michael? I'm ready. Alrighty. Three, two, one, play. The world is coming undone. Imperial flags reign across the galaxy. Can you be trusted without your shackles? Let's just get this over with, shall we? We've a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know how to destroy it. If you're really doing this, I want to help. Good. Good. I've been recruiting for the rebellion for a long time. We destroyed our home. I fight the Empire now. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. The captain says you are a friend. I will not kill you. Thanks. There isn't much time. Every day they grow stronger. There is a 97.6% chance of failure. He means well. This is our chance. Are you with me? All the way. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, uh, so for the people who have seen this, I apologize. Uh, it, about my Skype going off in the corner. Apparently all my notifications went to go off at the exact same time and I forgot to put my Skype on Do Not Disturb for like those two very important minutes. So I apologize for that. But I imagine that if you're here... Oh my god! Megan! <laughs> uh, hang on. Just... Da -da 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 Stop! Ah! Okay, anyway. There we go. Alright, so I, I had to put her on... I had to put myself on Do Not Disturb because she's messaging me about World of Warcraft stuff. Okay, so... Anyway, uh, always professional here at DigiTrib, right? Anyway, wow. What did you think, Michael? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh Vader cameo at the end? Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, so one of the things that I'm most looking forward to about this movie, when I, like, when I first heard about it also, you know, the fact that this is not going to be your traditional Star Wars movie because it's not going to be around Force Sensitives really had me excited. I'm so excited for that part, yes. That's right. the best part, um, uh, yes. Like, it's a breath of fresh air because there's so much more to the entire Star Wars universe than just the Jedi and the Sith. I mean, like, they're cool and all, and I love them to death, absolutely. But, you know, to see just the normal grunts doing their thing, can't wait. Um, and... Oh my god. There's so much to talk about here. Okay, like <laughs> seeing guerrilla warfare done in a space this space sci-fi fantasy setting. Yes. That's amazing. I want to see how this goes down. I'm so excited for this. Yes. And guess what? What? More black people. I know. <laughs> they might not die. <laughs> they might not die. Or they'll all die at the same time. Maybe like one AT AT will just kill us all. And like, yeah, most likely, yeah. Oh. yeah most Look at likely. these minorities. Right, bye bye. Right. I know. Oh. But hey, there's more than one black person in the galaxy now, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. So, like four now? <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, okay. So exactly what you said, right? With the fact that we have 
actual guerrilla warfare in a Star Wars movie now. Like, it feels like a guerrilla war. All those scenes felt like a guerrilla war. That was the thing I really wanted to get the most out of out of this movie. And honestly, I didn't even think it was going to be that much of a, like, that much action in it. To be perfectly honest, I thought it was going to be like a really? Metal Gear Solid espionage-esque kind of movie, the way they are explaining it. Uh, you know, the fact that Jin Ursa has to go behind enemy lines and steal the Death Star plans, I thought that she was going to sneak it out, and then they had to escape altogether, because, you know, that's just, that's how it would have gone down. Uh, but there looks to be a lot more combat in this movie than I thought that was going to initially be the case, and I'm totally okay with that, because one of my favorite scenes in the original trilogy, and tell me if you agree or not, was the Battle of Hoth. Excuse me. And one of the reasons why I loved the Battle of Hoth was because... There were no lightsabers being swung around really in that entire fight. <laughs> we actually got to see just like the rebels just defend their base as much as possible. And oh my god, oh, oh, this is this is going to be. Is this the good. same mission where I think they named Mon Yeah, she was like May Bothans die. Was it the same mission? No, this is um that was in, oh the second Death Star. That was the second, second Death, Death Star. Star yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, in this one there are no Bothans to kill. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, weren't, they weren't for the, the rebels yet, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. Um, if there is a Bothan, that would be really cool. I would love to see like a Bothan cameo, right? Where like they are the they spies. Just, yeah, where they just go and they also die. Like we know that that's what they are renowned for doing. Um, <laughs> it's doing nothing but die. Just doing nothing but dying. Uh, I'm like cutting through some of the scenes right here. Um, if I go to, I'll turn on the volume oh, yeah. a little bit. Uh, but if I go to, oh gosh, I'm even just trying to find a good scene. Yeah, here we go. Like right off the bat, from like 46 seconds, where you see all these people just, you know, starting to fight, um, setting up ambushes. You know, it it looks like they're gathering a team together. You know, to take mm -hmm. out, to steal the Death Star plans. Um, see, I thought it'd be more of like a dog fighting type movie where it's just like because rogue one isn't that basically like a squadron isn't it uh rogue squadron is yeah yeah but it's probably more like dog fighting than anything else but mm -hmm. it seems not when i'm okay with this yeah i want more yeah this almost seems like it's going the route of uh, i don't i don't want to say like guardians of the galaxy right because it's totally different tone uh but mm -hmm. the idea that you're like it looks like the rebels are collecting all these different kinds of individuals to work together it's mass to, effect yeah right it's mass effect <laughs> suicide there you go. mission oh man it's mass effect 2 all over again oh i oh gosh it's gonna be great i can't wait to see the at-ats like let me go back like the at-ats oh. um it looked beautifully done oh yeah I'm, oh man to, to see the at-ats once more in combat and you know again more x-wing battles that you've got in on the ground looks awesome but yeah these at-ats so it looks like there's just going to be, like, a wave of them, and I guess the Rebels are going to have to hold the line and fight them off. Oh, I, don't, I... <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait. Oh, I, I, I feel like it's the type of move of keeping an edge of your seat, because you know the Rebels have a huge disadvantage against the Empire. If they mess up once, they're all dead, pretty much. Yeah. That's what I love about the guerrilla warfare type movies, where you're always on edge, because one mess up and you're done. Yeah. I honestly think that I'm more excited for this than I am for... Force Awakens. And the reason why I am is just because of the kind of Star Wars story that they're telling here. You know, everyone, so many people were complaining that Force Awakens was too much like, you know, A New Hope, which I That's kind of what they're going for, I see. Because, yeah. like, they're passing the torch off to the new generation. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the thing that I think a lot of people don't seem to grasp is that this was Disney's way of proving, hey, we can do Star Wars. So we'll return to form bring it back so that everybody can feel like they're a part of it again, right? Um, now, I will give George Lucas credit where credit is due. I'm, I like that he tried going off in a new direction with it, and I'm, I don't want to see any more super weapons after this. This is the last time I will accept... <laughs> it's the third time he <laughs> tried this. It's not gonna work. This is yet. the last time I will accept the Death Star, and I know that this is, you know, a, a prequel to A New Hope, so this is the first Death Star again, so I accept that. But actually, hmm? out of the three Death Stars they had, it blew up six planets. So, I mean, it's kind of working. That's, uh, uh, six planets is a good thing to have in your resume. Let's think about this for a second. It though. is, but <laughs> at the same time, like... It's too much resources for one thing that only shot, like, one shot, really. Well, I mean, it's, so. not, it's not only that, but, you know, like, we get that same storyline 
so many times. <laughs> like, I like I, I don't want to see another super weapon after this movie. Well, is over. you're gonna hit Rogue One. <laughs> no, <laughs> going well, back to the super well yeah, no, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm okay with Rogue One because it's a prequel where they're talking about the Death Star again. But like, these super weapons can't keep being the catalysts for these movies. They have to be able to fight something or do something that doesn't involve another super weapon that destroys planets. And I don't want the Sun Crusher base or whatever that you know. Sorry. Like the, well, there's the, well, there's a Star Killer base in Force Awakens, and there's one o- other. But I don't want, you know, another. I, I just don't want any more super weapons after this. Like I'm so done with the super weapon concept. I think we're going to go with the uh, Empire Strikes Back. I feel plot line, which I really hope they don't, which they go branch off. But I think they're going to go with that. Whereas thinking like the uh, Empire will win this next movie. Oh. Yeah, I heard that it was going to be the dark middle chapter, and I mean like that's okay, right? Yeah, that's okay. But like, let's have like not too much like. Yeah. The Empire Strikes Back. I mean, yeah. Uh, but Are like, arms getting cut off or hands. <laughs> right, Ray. Get, Ray. Away from that. <laughs> maybe, maybe Ray will get like I don't know, her oh, other God. arm, her other arm, her other hand cut off. Like, which one did Luke get cut off? His right hand. I. Or was his right left? Hand. I think it was his right hand. So she'll get her left cut off. But anyway, like going back to Rogue One. Um, the reason why I was saying that I think I'm more excited for this than I was about Force Awakens. Well, like, I was... All right, so I was more excited for Force Awakens when it was first announced because it was so mysterious, right? We didn't know what the plot was going to be. And, you know, while it was very similar to A New Hope, I'm okay with that. But this... This feels like a... New thing. A new thing. Like, this... The the entire tone is different. And I love it. I love how, like, the tone feels gritty and warlike it feels like i'm about to watch a great war drama with star wars and, uh, uh. what i'm really kind of interested to see is how they go up against vader because they're gonna cameo him they're gonna have to use him do something yeah and that's gonna be something right there because little like non-force user people going into vader yeah the the force incarnate vader mm-hmm. good luck guys yeah they're probably gonna run in all I honesty, hope so. This I hope like one because like force choke. I think it's force choke that once or something like that. It's like oh no, run. Yeah. Oh man. But anyway, uh, that is our first impressions of Star Wars uh, Rogue One trailer. I think that this will be a phenomenal film, and I, I'm pretty sure once more that this is just gonna blow away the box office and you know everything all over again. I, I'm sure it won't get the same amount of revenue as Force Awakens does because it's not a numbered Star Wars movie you know it's a eh, spin-off story i think it might you think it might i think it might i think it might because it's the new star wars and the fans will come back to star wars because it's star wars and it's something new and as as you said rogue one is a whole new thing yeah and we want this so i think it's gonna get just as if not more than force awakens hmm. well time will tell one way or another michael you're coming from virginia and you're coming here and we're going to see this movie <laughs> you darn right i am and then we're gonna do a review on it it'll go up on digitrib and everything will be great anyway uh we wanted to keep it short and sweet i think we kept it nice and short and sweet i don't think we went over like 10 minutes or anything like that so uh without any further ado thanks for watching everybody hope that you like whatever this little discussion thing is we might do more of this you know we're still experimenting with everything and it's good to be back on the youtubes so we shall see you around Bye-bye. Miss y'all. Bye. Bye.